I have to accept that the Western world is changing in ways that I despise. And the Western world, along with the way that capitalism has been implemented and managed, is probably going to collapse in a decade or so unless major things are changed in a hurry. And there's really nothing I can do about it other than complain, which seems less and less useful as time goes on. I don't want to be the old man yelling at clouds, you know? But with the way the Western world is changing, there's certainly a lot more horse shit to have to memorize. More useless things to keep track of and on top of. And in the long run, by having to keep on top of all of it all the time, it makes me less empathetic and more apathetic to the people and things that I normally find important. And yet, some people seem to think that we need to memorize even more of this kind of stuff, you know, in order to be considered a good person. In this silly notion that the more you spread out your empathy, the more empathy you actually have. Like the convoluted concept of homeopathic pills. That the more they're diluted, the stronger they actually are. Yeah, empathy doesn't work the way that homeopathic medicine claims to work. One only has so much empathy. Kindness, on the other hand, is a different ballgame. You know, it can essentially be unlimited, especially when someone's getting positive feedback when they're kind to people. You know, especially when someone sees how easily it can brighten someone's day. Someone can essentially become addicted to making people feel good. And that's rarely a bad thing. I mean, it, it can happen, but it's rarely a bad thing. Even if that kind of high is the only reason they're doing it. A kind gesture costs nothing. And it's usually so easy to do. And so I try to be kind as much as I can. You know, I may struggle memorizing all this stuff that ends up making me less empathetic in the long run. But I can still treat people decently. I can still try to be as kind as I know how. Just saying.